Hello ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here and welcome to another mod collection in Space Engineers. This one is a collection of mods, if you've never seen one of these episodes of mine, that I find really interesting that have come out recently that you may not be aware of and you might want to put them into your maps and check them out. So let's go ahead and get started. Yes, that is a Type 6 shuttlecraft in the background. Uh, made with no mods, except for the cockpit mod, which we're going to go into, uh, that I made just uh, a real quick build that I had a lot of fun with. It's actually pretty sweet. You can actually go in, in there, but I'll show that off later when I get to that mod. Let's first start over here. I've actually set up a, a little test map to spotlight each mod. The first mod that I'm going to be showing you guys is, we'll run over here and look at the screen, the Cockpit Immersion Pack by... Um, tantalizing turnip fantastic name so some of you guys may be recognizing the ship here this is a uh, a version of my z95 headhunter that i built a while ago but this is my modless version the only mod on here is the mod that i'll be spotlighting so huh, let me jump down we'll run on up to the cockpit now you're probably saying check that looks a lot like the normal fighter cockpit and well it is basically it is the normal fighter cockpit but with one major difference and this is the one the cockpit actually opens up. I mean, that's, oh, I love it. I really hope they take this concept and they add it to the base game. Actually, two of these mods, I hope they add to the base game. But, all right, we can go ahead. You can open up your cockpit. I set up a button here. So it works kind of like a piston or a rotor to open close, just like a door. Pop in here. There you go. My cockpit is open. Now I can close the hatch. And she seals up. It's a fairly simple concept, but I really like it. Now, the way that he's gotten this to work... Let me open it up again, pop out. You can pop out with it closed. It operates just like a normal cockpit, but it's just a little bit of a immersion there. Now, the way this thing actually works, and I'll, I'll go ahead and throw a cockpit on the back here. You have your base of it. So it's actually two different parts. You've got your base, which fits in the same size. It works just like a normal cockpit. You can even use it without the glass attached. Whoops. It's like you can actually jump in and use it. And I was thinking this would be kind of cool for a ground vehicle. But then, your other piece is your actual cockpit glass. And what you gotta do is, you gotta line them up. You can see the green box and the red box there. Get them both lined up and rotate it so it's facing the right direction. This one already is. And when you place it, it'll look just like this. Place it, and it'll seal up, and you're good to go. And yeah, you can use the, um, the little panel on the side here to open and close it. I put a button because the way my Z95 is set up, it's sunk down in there and you can't actually see the console, but it's a great little mod and such a fantastic idea. I'm wondering if he'll make a version of it that works with the uh, the box cockpit, you know, the other smaller cockpit like this one right here. I mean, that would be pretty cool. I don't know, would it, would it just open out forward like that one does or maybe open from the top and like go up? Mm, I'm not sure. Because it really, I don't know, that, that wouldn't really look good if that opened in the way that that one opens on this build. It could be interesting, though. All right, so the next one I'm going to show you guys is, what is this? Autodid's Cargo and Storage. Audi? Audi. We'll call him Audi. Now, I, I love cargo mods. In one of the other spotlights that I did a while back, it was very similar to this one. It was cargo bits that you could flush out a, well, a storage area out with. Uh, for this one, it kind of looks like I've got a landing bay here. You've got your maintenance uh, shelving there with some tools on it, maybe. Now, what I like about this one is, one, it's colorable, as you can see here. It has a variety of different types. You've got some barrels in the back there, the shelving over there, and then a pallet. I like to see a bit more with the pallets. Maybe put items that are already in the game on there, like, um, I don't know, pipes or tubes or something. But what's really cool is, on these ones, these cargo containers, you can actually walk up to them, you can access them, and I've put a rifle in there. So you could like store a crap ton of rifles or ammunition in there for people to run up and grab. But you can actually maybe move legitimate cargo boxes inside your cargo bays and store things in them. I don't know. There's probably a few ways that they could get this to work to be a little bit more flushed out. But I just, I love the idea of cargo. Over here, run over here real quick. Sadly, I can't find a way to access this, though it does say it is a storage device. Maybe it's on the bottom and you can like pipe it, which would be pretty cool. Let's look. Let's look real quick. So this would be six here rotate it so the bottom is showing if it's pipeable ah it's not pipeable all right well that would be one thing that i would do is i would make it so maybe you can run a pipe to it or something but 
yeah, they're colorable, they're storage, though you can't access these and you can't access the palette. What I would probably do with the palette is make it so it's made out of the material that's on the palette. So it's like a bunch of that material. That way it's actually holding in a in sort of pseudo way the type of material. So say we're using large steel tubes. Well, if on the palette, large steel tubes are shown, you know that there's upwards of, say it takes a thousand to fill it, to build it out. I actually pull it up, see what it makes. See, right now it's just some basic decorative items to throw in there. So large steel tubes, construction components, metal grades, nothing crazy, but all right, moving on, moving on. The the last thing back here is a bunch of, um, what are these, the container barrels, I guess? And it doesn't look like you can access these. I haven't actually tried. Oh, you can access them, nice. And they hold a certain amount. I'm not sure what the max is. I am kind of curious though, but that'll change based on whatever you have your uh, your map settings, your server settings for cargo space. But there you go. There's the first two mods I'll be spotlighting now. Heading on over to the Type 6 shuttlecraft from Next Generation. Oh yeah. This is the one that would open up in the back on uh, the Enterprise D. The old box shuttles. You can actually run up in here. In this build that I've got, there's actually landing gear built inside the nacelles on the left and right. So she is strapped down. She's fairly maneuverable and made out of vanilla blocks, except for the one mod we're going to be spotlighting, which is going to be another cockpit mod. I just, I really like this build. I built it in like an hour and it came out really well for a vanilla build. We can pop in here. And you guys may have seen this one on the workshop. It was on the front page for a few days. It is the working, actually working monitors. Now you guys know I have been talking about this uh, for a long time. I've wanted the monitors to do something and these do, they work just like LCD panels so I can switch out what's on these with uh, basically whatever I want. So we'll do, we'll do an arrow, add that remove the danger sign. Now we've got an arrow in the middle. We can put text on there. You can use that script and it'll actually tell you how much ammo you've got or how much damage you've got on certain items on your ship. I mean, there's some really cool things you can do with LCDs now. And there you go, they'll actually work in here. Now the way this one works is pretty damn clever. Let me pop out. Sorta, sorta like, oh look at that, I got the back here. Let me zoom out here. Sort of like the last one that I showed where it was in multiple pieces, so is this one. And I will build it on the top here. Let's see if I've got them equipped. If not, I'll just grab them real quick. Uh, under your control panel, they're going to look just like, uh, where are you, bits? Decorative cargo. Uh, da, 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 da. I was just messing around with this too. Here we go. So it comes in four different bits, the different LCD panels. Pop this sucker open. Let's get mirror mode off. So the way that I've learned to do this to make it easy is the first thing that you wanna start with is not the base. You wanna start with the interior upgrade bit. Now, you don't have to have the interior upgrade. Like this is basically, I think all you need is the cockpit base and you're set and good to go. But if you use the interior upgraded version, you actually get a light built into the top and you can change what color that light is. You can change how far it goes out. It works just like your normal light in the game, which is pretty cool. So that's just one more upgrade module. But what I like to do is I put the upgrade interior down first, then I'll take the base and I'll slap the base down on top of that, so now it looks a little bit thicker. You get the glass bits a little bit more pronounced, and then you get two more bits here. These are the actual LCD monitors, the, actual, the, the displays themselves. Now, the way they work is they're a single block with a, another block kind of sticking off the side of it with no clipping. And the way that this works is you stick them into the corners here. Let me slap this sucker right here, because right now if I get in, notice it's just vanilla screens, right? Boring, bleh. Well, <laughs> If we stick this block here, and we stick it right here in the corner bit, there's a, there's like a clipping thing. And now that just clipped through, and then we can take, well here, I'll just pop in now, and you can see the middle monitor now totally works without issue. We do number four, which is the other monitor block, stick that on the other side, and pop in here, and boom, they're online. Now, the left and the right monitor are actually the same monitor cut in half, so only text will work on those without looking really wonky. Keep that in mind when you're doing stuff. You guys saw it in uh, the other version that I've already got pre-built down here. I'll pop in, you can look at it, where the X is on the top and the X is on the bottom. Um, but that works just fine if you're just gonna use text. So, there you go. Cool, easy to work with, and I believe, I didn't test it though. Silly me, let's grab some blue here. Uh, totally colorable, yes it is. 
in, in its you know small ways. It's colorful and accessible from the back and does have the oxygen upgrade uh, slot so you can have oxygen pumping to it. So it does everything the normal cockpit does. Now, what I would love to see is all this functionality already built into the cockpits that are in the vanilla game. Maybe if the devs get a little free time, they could work something like that out. You guys have the LCD panels already in, guys. You've already got the monitors uh, on these on these cockpits. Why not? That's my question. Why why not do it if you can do it? All right, moving on. Oh, and who made that one? Did I say before? Yeah, that was uh, Happy Sushi up there for the enhanced cockpit concept. I like doing the mod spotlights like this now where I've got the names written on the, uh, the wall there because then if I can't pronounce the damn name or uh, if I forget, it's written right there. So pretty fantastic. Moving on. Uh, we don't need this medical bay there, so let's get rid of that. We've got... Well, here, I'll just show you guys the text real quick. We got the holograph, the hologram projector. I actually think I wrote that wrong up there by uh, Haraga. We've got the projector preview script, which is also on display. We've got the haze thick ass door, which is over there, which we'll look at right now. And then the uh, cockpits, general cockpits, which I'll show you guys in just a second. I do like those cockpits um, for well, a very specific reason. But here's the thick ass door. One more door with the uh, warning tape all over it. Textures could use a little work. They're a little blurry. I mean, not too fantastic, but I do like how thick these doors are. Like, that's huge. So that's what that one looks like. A lot of people are saying, oh, this door is really great. Uh, it, it looks all right, you know? It's, like I said, the textures are really, really cruddy. But she does open. There you go. Pretty good door. Moving on to the cockpit mod that we're going to get to my favorite. Uh, it is a collection of cockpits that work in different ways and kind of cool. We'll walk up here. The button to get in is this little open button. It doesn't actually open, but once you get inside, it reminds me of something like a tank turret. Probably the best thing you could do with this is make a tank with it, I think. That would be neat, actually. So, looks like the inside of maybe a tank commander's turret or the top of a bunker or something. Um, but I like it's it's low profile, so you're always thinking, oh, well, man, the bridge is always so exposed in a lot of these ships. Well, this time you can have a bridge that's exposed, but not so damn obvious and noticeable. Another version of it, uh, basically the same exact concept, except it has, well, uh, more of a view to it. You get in through the bottom, which is currently blocked. I'll run over here. We'll get into this one. Uh, this is just a different version of it. And yes, this one actually has the uh, the oxygen hookup in the back. That's what this big thing is right there. So we'll pop in. I'm on my side right now, but it, I like the interior on this. I hope this guy does more cockpits because I really dig this green interior. All right, moving on to the last and final mod that I want to show off is actually two mods working together. It is the hologram projector. And what was the script called again? It was called the preview, I think. Pro projector preview script. Now, the uh, the projector table we've seen before, I think in other packs, it looks really, really good. I love it. But what it's using is a script. This is a large Star Destroyer you guys have seen in my RP series in the past. It is actually huge. Now, normally when you load up a projector uh, blueprint, it's going to be the exact size of the ship itself. But with this script, it'll actually scale down Whatever the blueprint is that you're using, it'll scale it down to a certain percentage, and I'll show you how that works. Let's go in here. We're gonna load the uh, the Nebulon B up in this thing. So let's go ahead, we'll scroll down to, the way it works is you take the name of the projector table or whatever you're using to project. It doesn't have to be the projector table. You put at preview on it. That now says, hey, this is a projector that we want to do a preview projection and not a build projection on with a script installed, mind you. And then you put the scale you want. So I could take the scale here and I could do, uh, well, let's do 0.5. And notice that the uh, Star Destroyer actually shrunk a little bit, a little bit smaller. Let's go back in. We can take it up. We can go 1.5. I actually haven't gone that big. Let's see what happens. Now it's as big as the table itself. I probably would want to bring it up a little higher so it spins. Um, let's bring it back down to maybe 0.9. I think 0.9 was a good a good size. And then if you want it to spin like it's doing here, you, did, you do at spin and then the number you want. I've got it on uh, what, negative one, so it spins in one direction and it spins fairly slowly, but I think if we just switch it to one, it'll spin the other direction. Now let's strap on there another blueprint. Now bear in mind, it is actually loading up that blueprint, that huge blueprint, and I, you're probably gonna see a little bit of a slowdown if you load something humongous, like say a Nebulon B medical frigate which is a frigate that I love to use for all my demos. Now, you're gonna see this in real time. I'm not gonna edit this. This is how long it takes to load. 
Uh, when I did the Star Destroyer and I did a bigger, more detailed one to test this originally, and it got really slow. But there you go. There's the Nebulon B. Actually sports some of the colors on there. Uh, it might be clipping a bit. So let's actually get in here and let's bring it to vertical offset by, oh, it's slowing down a little bit. Let's go vertical offset by two or maybe 1.5. Confirm. There she is. Now she's not clipping. Now tell me that isn't cool for the bridge of something like a Star Destroyer. Ah, oh, it's so good. You can do anything with this too. Very neat. You don't have to have it spin, but uh, there you go, guys. That is the mod collection for today. If you enjoy these, I do them maybe once a month every time I see, oh, there's a, not a very far um, LOD for projectors, is there? Like that. Get closer and it pops back in, huh? Yeah, I do these maybe once a month whenever I get a collection of mods that I really like that I don't think people have really been sporting on, uh, on YouTube videos. So if you wanna see more of these, let me know in the comments below. Which one of these was your favorite? And are you like me? Would you like to see this kind of functionality actually go into the official items, the official cockpits for space engineers? I know I'd love to see it. I love the idea of having like lights in there, maybe have them upgradable. And the main one for me though, you can cut everything else out. Make these panels actually work in the vanilla ones. So cool. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel for more sci-fi gaming modding goodness. And as always, well, like I said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. In space, space, space.